Hello everyone, in this video I want to give you a brief demonstration and overview of the Ease of Access Centre in Windows 8. Now the Ease of Access Centre is the central location where you can go to on your computer and you can change the accessibility settings to make your computer easier for use. In the centre you can change how you use the display, keyboard and mouse and also sounds to help you. And the Ease of Access Centre is to be used by people with a wide range of needs and disabilities. It's not just for people with a visual impairment. OK, the keyboard shortcut to get to the centre is Windows key U. And here we go. Let's just make that nice and large. Now what I want to do in this video is I want to show you and talk briefly about all of the options in the Ease of Access Centre. I'm not going to do any of them in depth. I'll use other videos to explore the individual functions in much more depth. So in the Ease of Access Centre here, I'll just move my mouse just so it highlights where I'm talking about better. So you've got a magnifier. Now this magnifier obviously makes things bigger on the screen. You've then got narrator, which is the voice function, the screen reader. Everything which is on the screen is described by a voice. You can start up an on-screen keyboard and you can set up a high contrast theme which a high contrast theme is just all the different colours that are normally available that you see on your screen are kind of stripped down and the display only shows a couple of colours like black and white most frequently. Some other settings that you've got within the centre is using a computer without a display, making the computer easier to see, using the computer without a mouse or keyboard, making the mouse easier to use, making the keyboard easier to use, using text or visual alternatives to sounds, making it easier to focus on tasks, that's about adjustments for reading and typing. And then finally, making touch and tablets easier to use. So there you go. That's all the different options within the Ease of Access Centre. And that's it. My overview is very, very brief. Watch out for other videos where I'll go into these individual settings in much more depth and explain them some more. Thank you for watching. In the comments below, please let me know how useful you find the Ease of Access Centre.